Hello everybody, Instagram and YouTube. Welcome, welcome. Dr. Dion Napier with Amplify Vocal Studio. I'm so glad to see everybody. Haven't been on in a while, but I wanted to come on today and talk to y'all about how to bridge your chest and head voice to get a commercial sound specifically for classically trained singers and voice teachers. So welcome to you guys who are joining me. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're joining in the world. So glad to see you today. So I had a, one of my clients uh, was talking to me about how before she came and did my course, she felt like her voice was either Ethel Merman or opera. Like there was no in between. Welcome to you guys on uh, Instagram. There was no in between for her. And I actually hear that a lot, but nobody had really described it that way. So it was really funny. So what she's saying is all she knows how to do is get like these high air pressure sounds. So example, I'll just do anything goes like a chest bell or like a classical head voice. Right? Both of those are more high air pressure sounds. But when it comes to that mix, she was talking about how, like, it's nothing. You know, either I'm pulling weight up from the bottom or I do this flip into this classical head voice that is not stylistically correct for the contemporary music that she wanted to sing. So I wanted to come on here and walk you guys through my simple three step process to bridge your chest voice and your head voice. I did a, um, a reel on this not too long ago, but I wanna walk you through it live so you can ask your questions and get the information. And then I'm gonna tell you about an upcoming event that I have in a couple of weeks. So the first thing, classical singers, when you are transitioning and voice teachers, when you're transitioning from the classical realm to sing commercial music, you can't come in there with that full classical head voice. Y'all know that, okay? But what you don't know, usually, because the universities don't teach us this, you don't realize you have to lean in to pharyngeal resonance. So pharyngeal resonance is a whiny, crybaby kind of sound. It's a bratty, cartoonish sound. Wah! Wah! It's that, okay? You've got to lean into that, and that is fully different from what we do in classical singing. So that's the first like key element that you have to add to your classically trained voice to start sounding more commercial, but to also bridge those gaps in your sound so you are not straining and cracking in chest voice or flipping into that operatic head voice. So one uh, exercise, I'm just going to give y'all some free resources today. Welcome on YouTube that you can use. What's up, Darian? Welcome, friend. Some resources you can use to get started. So the first pharyngeal exercise is going to be a yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, really whiny, bratty. It's not supposed to be beautiful. Okay, it's really a, a, a abrasive sound, right? So, yeah, 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 yeah,
is really the glue that's keeping the cords connected in the bridges so that you don't abruptly flip, right? So we don't hear those registration changes. So you have to lean into the whininess. That's the first thing that I always have to tell my singers, my classical singers that's wanting to sing commercial. You have to make it whinier than you think, okay? It will feel wrong. It will feel different. But that's really the key to getting a, a more commercial sound. So that's step one. The second step is to normalize the sound. So that, uh, I call it isolated pharyngeal sound. Yeah, yeah, you will never sing that in public, okay? That is just to get you to that whiny quality, which is going to give you a powerful sound without you using a lot of like extrinsics and all of that, without you forcing and straining. After you do that, you want to start rounding that sound off. You want to normalize it. If you followed me for any amount of time, you know I talk about chiaro scuro, that principle that comes from classical, the Italian bel canto school. But it's the same uh, principle that exists in in commercial music. I call it whiny dopey. You still want to have a blend of that bright chiaro and also that round, rich sounding scuro to get you to a balanced mix. What we call in commercial so an exercise that you can do is going to be buh 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 and you can start on the top so you'll start on the eight buh, 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 and drop that jaw buh, 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 buh. we're rounding it out that is going to be the foundation of your commercial style singing. You can lean into it more. You can add more air compression. You can do all kinds of stylistic things. You can come off of it and make it breathy. There are a lot of options, but you have to, at the core, before you start belting, before you start doing anything else, you've got to have that core foundation of a nice balanced mix sound that is a correct blend or a nice blend of the chiaro and the and the scuro or the whiny and the dopey qualities, okay? So buh, buh, buh is going to help you achieve that. The wisdom of starting from the top... Instead of buh, 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 right? The wisdom of starting from the top down is that you cannot pull that larynx up. Okay. A lot of y'all that follow me because you usually kind of attract who you are, y'all probably screaming. I won't say screaming, but you probably shouting, you straining to hit them notes. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get this pop sound. I get it because I'm that type of singer too. So what you have to do, you have to flip it and start from the top so you can't pull and you have to find another way to get that sound. So you want to make sure on the bub that you really drop that jaw. Buh, 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 buh. Dropping the jaw is picking up that chest resonance, which is giving you a beltier, more powerful sound without you straining. These little tricks and little stuff that I teach y'all in my course, okay? So that's one little thing. It's an acoustical adjust adjustment that gets you, it packs you more power. Okay, now the third step. So that's normalizing the the pharyngeal resonance. Okay, that's the the second step. It gets you more. Uh, it gets you closer to what you were actually saying. And then the third step is going to be incorporate your lyrics in that same balanced mix placement as the buh, buh, buh. Welcome to you guys who are here with me live. Welcome. I see Faith. Hey, Faith. Hey, my girl from Voice Builders. I don't remember your name, but I know we've been talking in DMs. Welcome. Irish Dance, thank you. Welcome. For, thank you for being here. So the final step, put your words in there, but don't lose the placement of the balanced mix, okay? So what would that sound like? I've been singing Forever He Is Glorified, Carrie Jo, because she does a fantastic mix. So if you were doing... Right? So on buh, 
and then go put those words in. Don't change nothing. Just put the words in. Forever he is glorified. See how I did that? That's a balanced mix. I dropped my jaw to pick up some of that chest resonance, and you hear that easily produced balanced mix. And it has power to it. It doesn't sound like a weak falsetto classical voice, okay? Forever he is lifted high, right? So when you sing these notes, you got to make sure too, like I told y'all, mix has three components. It's the resonance blending, it's the refined core closure, and it's also the breath management. So when you sing lifted high, it's this sensation of going down, what we call in classical breath support, or pojo, right? In commercial, we call it cry. It's the same sensation. You feel this downward motion. Lifted high. Breathe through that. Forever he. That's your mix. Otherwise, you're going to be forever he. You hear how that's shouting? That ain't what you want, y'all. That's not sustainable. The other option is flipping forever he, which sounds ridiculous. It's not the style, okay? So you have to lean into that whiny cry with the breath. Forever he is lifted high. Forever he is risen. And there you got your mix, okay? So those are the three steps. One, you want to unlock your isolated pharyngeal resonance. You do that through and yay, nah, those types of sounds. The second step is you want to normalize that isolated pharyngeal by dropping the jaw. Ba, 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 or ma, 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 things like that. And then the third step is to incorporate your lyrics in that same normalized placement and don't change nothing. Just don't change nothing. Put the lyrics right there. Now, I know that can be easier said than done because you got the vowel shapes, the different vocal tracks. I, I get it. Registration, where notes are, I know. And that can make stuff feel different. That's why you're going to need to get a coach. But I'm just giving y'all the basic framework of what I do and how I teach my classical singers to lock into a commercial sound quick, y'all. This stuff does not take long at all, okay? I'm going to take a drink of water. Any questions, any takeaways? Drop them in the chat. I'm happy to answer those while I'm here. And I'm not going to be on here longer than 15 minutes. So we got about three more minutes, two and a half more minutes left. So my ladies that are over here on Instagram, any questions, any thoughts? Okay, somebody have a question. This is Melwin. It says, on which note do you recommend to start the bratty exercise? What should be the highest note? Is it the same for female male? Great question. You want to start these bratty exercises, y'all. I start them a half step below my first bridge because I'm a female, okay? So I would start that a half step below my first bridge. So my first bridge is around B flat B. So I would start right on A. I would start right there. Uh, Sorry, I was about to do ooh, ooh, ah, but yeah, 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 or whatever exercise I did. So one half step below your bridge. For male singers, you want to start one half step below your second passaggio or second bridge because you guys usually struggle more with shifting from your middle voice into your head voice. My ladies, we struggle with that chest, that upper chest to lower middle transition. So that's where you would need to drill that. Thank you for your question. As far as the highest note, go until you can't maintain speech level. That's what I say. This should feel easy. Easily produced. I know you're making a sound that you don't normally speak with, like ah, but go as high as you can comfortably. If you start to feel like the larynx is raising and cutting you off, you know, uh uh, that's your limit for that day. Stop and come on back down. But I say stretch on up there, stretch until it feels uncomfortable. You cannot maintain like a speech uh, level production and then come on back down. And then I think I answered the question about same note for male and female. It depends on where your passaggio is. So if you know your voice type, whatever, or if you don't know your voice type, it's fine. When you feel that pressure start to build up and like you're shouting, that's an indicator you're approaching your transition spot. So that is where you would need to do a half step down and start with the isolated pharyngeal. Thank you for that question. Irish Dancing CC said, how do you get to the whiny place? Making sure you're not squeezing the throat. I sometimes sound like a munchkin. 
skin. <laughs> so yeah, so what you have to make sure is that that breath is laced in there with that. So exercise is like, uh, I wouldn't say exercise, but like <sighs> onsets, right? You want to start your onset with a little air. <sighs> Okay, that wasn't uh, air because that was a W. But if you use that H, that can get you started. That's how I do that. Start with the H because if not, yes, you can get too squeezed. I know exactly what you're talking about. So make sure that that breath is uh, laced in there with the tone. My buddy D said, how do we move forward with you as a coach? What you are doing is exactly what we need. What are the next steps? I'm so glad you asked. So my next basics of mix and belt for purpose-driven classical singers and voice teachers starts March the 21st. That is the way, the primary way that I am serving singers right now. So what you want to do is DM me the word traction. Traction, T-R-A-C-T-I-O-N. Traction is my four-day live kickoff event before my course opens up, before I open up registration. It is free for four days, and I'm basically giving y'all a peek into the course, okay? We're going to talk about how do we mix some of the stuff I just taught y'all today. I'm going to go more in detail, and you need to grab my guide if you haven't, my ebook. I'm going to go through that ebook on day one. Day two, we're going to talk about purpose. We're going to talk about where does your music gift fit into the larger purpose and vision for your life? Because a lot of coaches ain't talking about that. A lot of coaches definitely are telling y'all how to do the mechanics, and that's fine. I'm not, I don't want to say a lot of coaches, but I'm saying this is what makes me different in the industry. My heart and my passion is not just to teach you how to sing and mix, how to sing and belt, and all the things. My passion is to help you do that but so you can feel your bigger purpose around your music gift so that you can widen your influence because in classical, see Darren, you're going to get me stirred up, boy, because in classical singing, especially if you were trained in a university, it's just a single track, right? All, the only skill set you really have is bel canto and Western classical. You don't have that commercial skill set, but many of you classical singers, you really are born to have a wider impact beyond just the classical singing circle. There are singers and there are other networks and things that you're supposed to be connected with, but because you've only been in that classical realm, you, you, it's like you, you don't dream anymore. You don't really see what else there is to you and what you can connect with your music skill set to accomplish your purpose while you're in this earth. So that's what I'm going to be unlocking with y'all also in my traction four day event. And then we're going to talk about belting. We're going to get into the mechanics because I know that's what y'all want and that's what y'all need. But it's really geared toward purpose driven, classically trained singers and voice teachers. It is free for four days. So DM me the word traction and I will get you the link so you can join. There it said, I love it. What is the word again so we can DM traction? Yes, Darian, put it in the comments for me if you don't mind, friend. Traction, that's the name of the event. We picking up pace. We picking up momentum. A lot of you guys, because you only have that classical skill set and teaching skill set, you feel stuck. You don't really know where your voice fits for real. You're interested in singing commercial music. That's why y'all on this live and that's why y'all following me and all of that. You want to learn these skills and that's great. So you can get moving again and see like what, what what's new for my voice? Where do I fit? I'm not pursuing the opera singing career anymore. I'm not going after that. Or voice teachers, you're getting musical theater students and other students that aren't pursuing a class classical uh, uh, career and they want to sing pop music, but you don't have the skill set. So you're not feeling secure. You're incredibly intelligent. You just don't have the right tools because university didn't teach you that. So that's why I'm here to retool you and to reactivate you. Okay. Classical singers, we're not going to be on the sideline. You know, the classical music industry is declining and that is what it is, but that don't mean that you, there's nothing else that you have to offer. There's a lot that you have to offer. But the first thing is you got to get the right tools for what's needed today. And then we got to get you aligned with your purpose, the bigger vision, the bigger why behind you are here, why you're here and where, where your music gifts and skill sets fit into that. 
Okay, so DM me traction. Oh my God, it's 20 minutes. I got to hop off. But DM me the word traction. Replay watches. I love you. Thank you. Drop your questions. I'll come back and catch those. And then I'll be back soon um, with another live. Y'all have a great weekend. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.